Hi everyone, happy Friday. I hope you're having a great week. Um, if you got off the rest of the week from the 4th of July, I hope you had fun, 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 fun in the sun. Today is the first day for Christmas in July, hosted by Helen Lewis. Um, I will leave everybody's information description box. Please go over and check the participants out. We'll be posting videos every Friday for the month of July. Um, today is going to be a very quick video, something quick and fun. What I've done is I've made an envelope. No, <laughs> I've taken two, some sheets of paper. This is not mint, but it can be mint. This is what I'm calling mint. It's green and pink. And I got this little color combination from Don H. Creates. Um, she made a cute little pocket letter last year with these colors and I just wanted to try and marry those colors up because they look like a soft Christmas and what I've done is I as you can see there are tags I use the recollections tag punch and I took some mini stamps and I just stamped them out different um, stamps so on the, the um, green ones they all say the exact same thing as the pink this one says to from the magic of Christmas this year I was naughty or nice um, you could pick which one you were this one says joy yay a cute little snowman this little snowman is too cute um, warm wishes it's a snowflake this one says naughty or nice naughty or nice is Santa Claus and then this one says jingle 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 and so I just have these right here I'll quickly go I'll show you what I've done just so you don't feel like you, I um, didn't share with you. Quite sure you don't think that. Um, this video should not be longer than 10 minutes because I've, I'm going to not talk so much. And we're going to just go ahead and do it. I would pull out my little foam stampy thingy, but we don't need that right now. And since you know I have a, a problem with snowmen, I like them a little bit, a lot. We're going to restamp the snowman guy out. Um, and I just used a 8x8 to get this right here. And I think I've gotten 10, 10 little stamps out of it. I probably could have got more if I was more frugal and savvy with paper dimensions and how to cut them, you know, stamp them out, cut it out, but that's not necessary. Um, I do plan on putting this in like some of my Christmas friend mail. So I have great, great, great excuses and reasons to create in July. Of course, this is a fun and quick and easy project, but you know, you can make, you can make the tags bigger or smaller. Definitely depends on you and your crafting style. So now what I want to do is now that the ink is, well, the ink dries just about instantaneously, I want to take my... Uh, I have a silver gel pen and I've been scratching out and I just want to color in some of the pieces to give it some shine. I do not, I do not, I don't think I do. If I do, I didn't, I haven't seen it and I didn't purchase it. I probably got in a D-stash. A Wink of Stella pen. I do have a glitter pen, but not a Wink of Stella pen. Um, so that is how that looks. And when you make these little things, you don't need to add a whole a lot of excess stuff on here because for me, when I gift these tiny little creations to my friends, I know, well, I feel in my heart that they're going to probably add something a little bit more to make it their own um, when they are creating and crafting and putting it in there. You know, in their creation so that's why I don't I don't want to go overboard in coloring the things up and making it more my style versus their style I hope that makes sense to you all because what I'm doing is just trying to add to their little embellishments and I do think that text you know you can definitely put random tags into um, your projects like if you make tuck spots definitely a good little thing to we'll leave one naked um definitely a good little thing to put into your 
creations would be like little cards and tags and on the back they're blank so you know they can you can write a quick note or even if you did like elf on the shelf i guess you could put these little notes with there with them on there and the kids could have some fun with that i'm not sure if i'm going to get into elf on the shelf um not that i don't think it's a cute little idea i just don't think that i could be dedicated to moving that thing around um or staying focused and dedicated to it my son would probably be like mom i know it's you <laughs> later on he'd be like mom you were doing elf on the shelf weren't you i'd be like i don't know jump out um do you how do you celebrate the commercialization portion of christmas do you say all the gifts came from mommy and daddy or do you say that the gifts came from santa we're still working on that right now we haven't truly decided i'm gonna leave these blank but that is our quick little under 10 minute craft project i hope that you will stick around and see what the other ladies have created as well as what i come up with next each week we will get a little bit more fancy maybe i do think that i will stick with tags um for this series it won't be small tags it may be bigger tags it may be um like a tag flip it may be something like that but i think in order for my brain to function a lot better since considering i've done a lot of collaborations for just one month um and it's not the same as like i said before it's not the same as crata or every day in may because you're free to do other things but when you're doing a collaboration you're of one particular thing you are kind of one particular thing you don't get a chance to say okay i don't want to do christmas today i want to do this so i don't want to do this i want to do that um which i love christmas i'm so glad that we're doing it because now i can in august i can make some christmas cards in september i can make some christmas cards. october i can make christmas cards but we're probably going to do halloween um theme things in september and october and then you know of course november you go full out all crazy with christmas because we're behind the eight ball so anyway i hope that you've enjoyed this quick little ramble of christmas in july until next friday but you'll see me tomorrow happy crafting